Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my two favorite ways of how to get good audio quality on your video. Okay, so in this video I'm going to feature the Zoom H2N and Rode Go. Both amazing tools and I'm going to show you how to use them. All right, at the beginning of the video, I was using my lapel mic, but now we're going to switch right over to this audio. You probably noticed a little bit of a difference, but it's really close to me. You can't see it. I'm touching it right now. Can you hear that? Okay, so I've got my Zoom H2N just outside of the shot, and this is my preferred mic to go to because if I'm using that, I don't have to have a mic clipped to me. The problem is, is if I'm going to move, you know, so if I step back, walk over here, even if I sit down, right, the audio is going to be different on that mic as opposed to if I walk closer to it. So if you've got movement, you want to have a lapel mic, but this mic is amazing. Let me tell you a quick story. We were downtown Salt Lake City doing some street interviews. I was behind the camera. Chris Crone was asking some people some questions about real estate. And it was going great until the Trax train came by. It's a really noisy, squeaky train. I don't know why it's so noisy, but it is loud. And it was just going by right on the street. And they kept the interview going. And my thought was, I wonder if this audio is going to be usable. If we're even going to be able to use this part of the interview because that train is so noisy. Later, we got back and I checked it out. This mic, it's directional. So every like if this were the mic right here, Everything right here is picked up perfectly. Everything behind it and far away is reduced and muffled out. And that's what happened. The train, you could hear it, but it was muffled out in the background and it really focused in on the conversation that Chris and this guy were having. It's a really good mic. Now let me talk about the exact setup I've got right here. Let me show you the whole picture first. Okay, we've got my Zoom microphone with a handle on it that's hanging in a shock mount that's on a boom arm which has an adapter that attaches it to my C stand. Okay, so now that you've got the whole picture, let me go through each one. This little handle is great. It just screws right into the bottom and we can actually hold on to that when we're going and doing street interviews. When you buy a shock mount like this, the shock mount actually comes with a handle that's on that you could use, but I've attached the shock mount to the end of my boom arm. Now this boom arm can stretch out to about 10 feet. So it's not getting in the way of anything and this microphone is just hanging right down in front of me. And it's really sturdy because I'm using a heavy duty C stand. All these things I got on Amazon, I'll link to those below down in my description if you're interested. All right, so I've got one Zoom H2N above me. I've actually got another Zoom H2N right here. Now, oftentimes I will take my lav mic, plug it right into the mic input on this, and then just stick this in my pocket. There's a lock switch, so if any buttons get pushed while it's in your pocket, it doesn't mess it up. That would be bad if it kind of turned off on you. It works really well, but this is kind of a big apparatus to put in your pocket. And when I do filming for my clients, we're filming 20 episodes in a day and to have them pull it out of their pocket, hit stop, hit start, you know, every at the beginning and ending of every single video, it becomes tedious. So now I want to introduce to you the Rode Go. Now notice this, my lav mic is actually going into my pocket and it's attached to the Rode Go here, which transmits a Bluetooth signal over to this one, which is recording on my device. It's what's recording right now. So it's going from my microphone to this device over to this device and it's recording onto an SD card right here. So I'm not using the microphone on this H2 and right now I'm using the microphone on my lav mic. And just to show a difference, I've got my other Zoom H2 and right above me you can switch to that one right now. And when I back away, now the boom arm mic, you know, I'm farther away from it. But if you switch back over to the lav mic, that's when this is good. And I've got my son sitting over there. He's been monitoring this. You can just plug headphones right into this. If I'm filming somebody else, I can monitor and know that the audio quality is good. You can actually attach this directly to the top of the camera and have the audio feed go right into the camera. I just like having a backup option. So in a moment, me and my son are going to go outside and we're going to test and see how far away I can go with the Rode mic before the audio quality slips up. But before we go out, I want to show you the mic that's on top of my camera now because I use this as a backup audio. Okay, I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to pull up my phone because my filming team is using my other camera at another location right now. But if I just show you with my phone, you'll see my cool lighting setup. And if I come right over here, you'll get a little bit better shot. This is the Rode shotgun mic that I'm using on top of my Canon 90D. Okay, let's go outside and do a quick test.
Okay, so I'll start right here and my audio should be plenty good. You know, we're only about 10 feet apart right here, but I'm gonna continue walking backwards and just you tell me, put up your hand when the audio quality gets poor, all right? So I'm gonna keep walking. I'm just gonna keep walking. There's noisy cars out here. I'm gonna keep walking, put your hand up if you can't hear me, if it breaks up. I'm gonna keep walking, I'm gonna cross the street. Can you still, oh, hand is up. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm about 100 feet away. I'll come back. I'm coming back. Is it better now? Okay, better now. So it looks like there is maybe a range. Maybe it starts to cut out at 75 feet. Okay, now that you know how to get good quality audio on your video, I want you to watch this video right here because you'll know why I chose the Canon 90D. This is the best camera for YouTube.